You want me to do it? Okay. All right. So good Hello. morning, everyone. <clears throat> Hi, Joel. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, my uh, six to seven fears. Uh, good morning to everybody. It's a beautiful day again. I hope you're all being safe and staying inside during this quarantine. Um, today we will be talking about fears. Uh, my name is Joelle. I'm from London uh, in the UK and I live near Florence and uh, I have lived here for about eight years now and today I should have my colleague Paul joining me who will introduce himself in a moment. He's, I think he has some problems with Wi-Fi but uh, students please if you are watching uh, can you please tell us your name and where you are from? We would love to have your participation during this webinar. Um, any collaboration, it makes the, the focus and the lesson so much more interesting and fun. Yes, so, Paul, <laughs> can you please introduce yourself. Yeah, so I'm Paul and I'm from Ireland. And uh, I was born in Cork and like Joel probably said, I work in my English school in Florence, in Via Baracca. So hello everyone and nice to meet you. So as Joel said, yes, please interact. Yeah, so um, today we will be talking about fears. Mm -hmm. um, everybody has different fears, so it will be interesting mm -hmm. to, to know what everybody is afraid of. Okay. Mm. So, are you being safe, Paul, during the quarantine? I was just saying to everybody, I hope everybody is being safe, even though it's beautiful weather, very warm, makes you want to go outside, but... 100%. Not even, not even for a little run anymore, I don't do it. I'm so afraid wow. now. So I, <laughs> I, run up, I run up and down my stairs in the safety of my own flat, knowing that nobody will judge me. So it's great. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Julia. Hi. Hi, Julia from Varese. Okay, great. Thank you for joining us. Have you have you ever been to Varese? Um, no, I don't think I have. I've been to Milan, but not mm. Varese. Have you? Um, I have not. I'd like to go to Milan or near Varese. Um, but yeah, it's on my to-do list anyway. Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's. Get on to oh. the first slide. Okay. So, uh, Paul, do you want to read this? Yeah, it says, in this focus activity, saying what you're afraid of, new vocabulary on fears, telling stories in the past and using when and while. Interesting. Excellent. Ah, okay. Julia says, Busto Arsizio. Ah. Oh, is that the name of the actual like town you're from? Okay. Cool. So, Busto Arsizio must be near Varese, okay? Must be. All right, perfect. So, um, we're going to look at some vocabulary as well about fears because there are many different ways to say you have a fear of something, mm -hmm. yeah? So, ah, okay, Julia says she goes to the Maes school in Busto Arsizio. Okay, oh, cool. perfect, Welcome. all right. Hi, Cesare from Bologna. So here we have Cesare with us and hey. we have Julia with us today. Okay, Welcome. perfect. And everybody else, I see we have five people watching. Please introduce yourselves. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So as I was saying, there are different ways to say you are afraid of something. So to be afraid of comes from the noun fear okay so what are different ways to say i'm afraid of so students mm. if you can think of any other way please write them in the chat uh, and uh, we will see if you know them or not so how many different ways do you think there are more or less paul three four five as i can remember i think four or five <laughs> yeah as far as I can remember. About five. 
Yeah. I... Or six, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I can think of one, two, three, four. Five. I can think about four at the, off the top of my head. I can think of five. Hmm. Oh, no, six. So, Cesare and, and Julia, if you guys can think of ways of saying fear, that would be great. And now we have seven viewers. So, guys, as I said, as Joel said, feel free to comment and join us in the lesson. Hmm. Okay, so one of the ways to talk about your fear. <clears throat> okay, Julia, great. She's telling me what she's afraid of. I'm afraid mm. of horror film. So you need the plural films in general. Okay. So I don't want you to tell us what you are afraid of. Not yet. We're not mm -hmm. on that part yet. So don't tell us what you are afraid of, but just tell us what different phrases we can use to introduce our fear. Mm. So you can say, I'm afraid of mm, another way we can say this. Hmm. Hi, Christina from Parma. Hello, Gabriele. Gabriela, excuse me. Hey. And we have Gabriela as well from Bologna. Okay, Christina from Parma. Gabriela from Bologna. Okay, so I can think of one. There's also a film with this word. It's like a parody mm -hmm. of other horror films, and it's called Scary Movie. Have you ever seen Scary Movie, Paul? I have. It's very funny. <laughs> it's very, it's very funny. It's a parody of other horror films. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, very good, Christina. I'm scared. I'm, uh, I'm scared. And then That's we one. need the preposition. What is the preposition after? So similar to the example, I'm afraid of. Mm -hmm. It's also I'm scared of. Very good. Oh, Julia, Ooh, Julia very good. I have a fear of. Fantastic. Excellent. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> so, ah, Cesare is also sharing what he's afraid of, which I think might be a, a joke. I'm afraid of the pizza with ananas. Mm, okay. So, I'm afraid of, in general, when we're talking about something in general, no mm -hmm. article. So, no the. I'm afraid of pizza with mm, ananas. What is this word, Paul? That's what I was thinking. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I was thinking, like, did he spell it incorrectly? Or I'm not sure what ananas is. Is that Italian or... It is an Italian. It is an Italian word, but actually, in many, 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 many different countries, this word is almost the same. Oh, really? It's only yeah, it's only in English that we've decided to completely change the word <laughs> mm. <laughs> because you know we're English. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, if you if you say it in Spanish, in French, in German, in in Polish, in God knows what language you want, they say it basically the same way, except us. Oh, we it's a fruit. It's a big fruit, tropical, mm. uh, with a big like green, spiky leaves on the top. It's yellow oh, okay. inside and it's very sweet. Sounds nice. Mm. And we use it to make a pina colada. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So the fruit is anybody pineapple. Pineapple. Ah. Uh, I was actually thinking that in my head, but I was afraid of saying it. Yeah, oh, I know. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, so Cesare says he's afraid of pizza with pineapple. Because in Italy, you know that it's an absolute no-no to have a pineapple I would pizza. never, I would never have pineapple pizza. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Well, yeah, me neither. But I hate pineapple, period. So I would never oh, eat okay. pineapple. Full stop. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we say I'm afraid... Of, I'm scared of, I have a fear of, very good. Christina says she's scared of spiders. Gabriela says she's afraid of growing, growing old. So you're going to need the ing form. If you use a verb after <clears throat> I'm afraid of or I have a fear of, mm -hmm. then you need the ing form. So growing. <clears throat> okay. Um, what about you? 
Uh, Paul, can you think of another way of talking about what you're afraid of? I petrified. Oh, petrified good. Of. I'm petrified of. So, hi, Michele. Welcome. Petrified of. <clears throat> And maybe this is when you are very, very scared of something. Like, oh, petrified maybe, of, yeah. maybe horrified as well would be another one. I'm horrified. Um, I'm trying to think. Of the I would just say I'm just horrified, but you wouldn't say of something. Yeah. Okay. I'm horrified. Mm -hmm. Let me check that. I would say I'm terrified of. Okay. And this is very similar to petrified. This means very, very scared of, petrified of, I'm terrified of. Um, and, uh, oh, what is it when there is a, a technical or scientific name for what you are scared of? Like the abstract name? Um, no, when you say that you have a mm of something, it's like a scientific name, you have a phobia of. Oh, okay. So you can say I have a phobia mm. of something. Interesting. And Joelle, if I could give you a question, what would you, what mm -hmm. would be the difference between a fear and a phobia? Are they uh, the it's, same? It's basically the same thing, but phobia is a very intense fear. It's very, very strong. So you 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 can't be near this thing you can't okay if you just say i'm scared of or i'm afraid of or i have a fear mm -hmm. of yeah you you're you're a bit afraid of them but you won't die if you find okay. yourself like i'm afraid of spiders but if i see a little spider on the wall i'm not going to go crazy you know okay it depends on the size sense. of the spider if you know what i mean but, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know but if i have a phobia of something i cannot even be in the <clears throat> same room as this thing mm. okay so it's very very strong oh my god okay so gabriel oh sorry yes i just it's made okay. that disappear sorry <laughs> petrified of the robbers oh my god in my home i was not into in my home but okay yeah not the robbers but maybe just in general, robbers coming into my home? I hope so, unless they yeah. already came. Unless they came in her house, that would be oh, like, like yeah. the type of the That's... robbers. But... Well, um, Gabriella, I understand you totally. I, I'm there with you because this has actually happened to me. So I really? know what it feels like and it's when? awful. It was um, 11 years ago. Okay. Yeah. So robbers came into my house and I was upstairs sleeping uh, with, I had a friend over staying with me, but we were two girl, two girls, two women alone. Mm. Thank God I had my dog at that time mm. and he sent them away. Wow. So yay, Orso, my dog. <laughs> Thank you. Do you still so, have him? No, unfortunately, he he died a few years. But he was already quite old. He was nine, ten years old at that at that time. Okay. So, was yeah, he protective? Um, he was trained to in in um defense. So, he wasn't a, a, an aggressive dog. But obviously, if somebody he doesn't know comes into the house, he's going to investigate. So absolutely, <laughs> they that just, was great. They just took one look at him, and they were whew, gone. He was a big. He was a German Shepherd. Oh wow! So, yeah. Okay, so he get he got a big steak that night. I can, I tell can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one more way we can say we can talk about having a fear. What happens when you are scared of something, and all the hairs mm. on your arm on the back of your neck go up? You get you get a goose. Um, yes, very good. But you can also say that as a positive, you know, if you go to a, a concert and you get goosebumps. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Enjoy the performance. It can be, it can be yeah. different meaning. Yeah, so you can say, I get goosebumps. And here, do we say of 
Do we use no. the same preposition as the others? No, I would use? use I would use when. I when I exactly. When. So I get goosebumps when I think of ghosts, for example. I don't know. You can just whatever you're scared of. So, mm -hmm. but you can also get goosebumps when you see your favorite uh, singer in a concert. Mm. So it just it's a um, I think it's an effect of a very intense emotion, mm. be, be it positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, Raffaele says he's... Raffaele, hi. Hi, Raffaele. Nice to see you again. For, of snakes. Great. He's a regular. Okay. Very good. <laughs> ah, Michele says, me too, too. Raffaele. <laughs> <laughs> Me Why too. snakes? I actually Absolutely. don't mind snakes. I like snakes. I think they're they're cute. Have you ever found one in front of you in the woods? I have. No, not in the oh. woods. But when I lived in Brazil, uh, my flatmates had a pet snake, and I didn't mind. He was because the snake didn't do anything. It was just in a yes, in a, but a wild snake in the wild. No, that would be terrifying. Yes, exactly. I have more than once. Where have, you, where have you been, Joel? <laughs> Just here, in Italy, walking my dog. The same yeah, dog. Wild that... snakes. Yeah, of course. I lived in the countryside. I lived in the countryside, in the, in the middle of the woods. So very oh, okay. often we would walk in the woods and I would find vipers and uh, just common grass snakes. I don't care. I, don't, I can't really tell the difference between a common grass snake and a viper. But if I see okay. anything that looks like a snake, whew, I'm out of there. <laughs> Absolutely. Gone. You see, I, I would never associate um, Italy with snakes for some reason. You know, I don't oh, have... Yeah. Uh, I just... We've got plenty of snakes. Oh, great. But the only, the only venom venomous snake we have is the viper. Can you find them in Florence? <laughs> uh, no, only in the countryside. That's only okay. I'm, I'm going to stay in the city. I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, Gabriella, nice one. I Not I get, because I get is now present. In the past, uh, Gabriella, I got goosebumps when my husband asked me to marry him. With an to A. To marry him. Oh, wow. Yes, I can imagine. So, spelling of marry? And got. Yes. Okay. Good job. Nice. Uh, there we have Raffaele who says, I have a phobia of mice. Hmm. Yeah, me too. Um, or rats. Big ones. Big rats. I don't like rats. Again? Wild not, ones, of course. Not not yeah. not a pet one. Of course, I'm not afraid of pet mice or pet rats, but I'm afraid of wild ones because I know that they bring disease and the pest. For sure. Yeah. I only remember once I had a mouse in our flat when in my in my house when I was in Ireland like about ten years ago. It was so mm -hmm. funny. It took us yeah. about three days. It took us three days to get rid of the mouse. Yeah. No, we, I've nobody had would. Them. Nobody would even enter the kitchen. We would go down to my grandmother's house and have like <laughs> uh, have like dinner. Like my dad was afraid, I was afraid, all our family were afraid. So we had to call a like a neighbor eventually to get it out. Yeah, same here. I've had I had them twice when I was in London. I remember. Yeah. Quite disgusting. okay. So we have lots and lots of different ways of talking about fear. Oh, here we have another one. Can you read the list, Paul? Well. Uh, I'm scared of, I'm frightened of, I'm terrified of, I'm scared to death of, and I get goosebumps when. I like the one of I'm scared to death of. Yeah. So, scared to death is very, very scared. And uh, frightened of is one we didn't mention, maybe. Mm. Um, and it comes from fear, the word fear, mm. noun fear. So, to be frightened of is the adjective. Absolutely. Ooh. I have a phobia of beetles. Wow. Okay. The spelling, though, because you've got the double T, that's correct, but it's not spelt like the band, the Beatles. It's spelt with double E. So B E E T T 
L-E-S. So yes, we can say cockroaches or just beetles in general. I'm just giving my... It's the, my... Yeah, beetles is the, the name of the family, let's say. Yeah. So this is the correct spelling, like the car, like the Volkswagen, the Volkswagen be beetle. But we, the, usually the ones that we find in like hotels or in the house or in the sink is a cockroach. This is what we call oh, them. I am terrified cockroach. of them. They're like my biggest fear. Yeah. Yeah. They're, uh, I okay. hate them. And there are yeah. many, there are many I know in Italy. I remember when I was in Sicily, I think the worst country though is probably Spain because in Spain they can fly. I don't know oh, about here. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> here they can jump. I Holy had, shit. unfortunately, last summer, <laughs> Sorry, I, said a bad I had <laughs> an invasion of cockroaches in oh, my no, no. kitchen. Um, and we had to call, obviously, um, uh, pest control. Yeah. It's what you call the people who come to get rid of any kind of uh, pest, which can be rats, it can be uh, bees, it can be any kind of insect. We call them, we call the pest control. Mm. <laughs> no, not the band. Good vibes, Gabriella. So, well <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I had to call pest control to get rid of them, um, because we did some jobs in the bathroom. We completely renovated our bathroom, and moving mm. all the tubes of water obviously disturbs the nest, which is probably in the sewers, and um, mm. they came up through the through the drains. So not nice. Not nice. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh my god, yeah. that's terrifying. <laughs> all right. So, um, do you want to read that, or is that too small for you, Paul? No, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> okay. So, what are the top ten most common fears? And we have snakes, spiders, heights, ghosts, the dark, thunder, lightning, confined spaces, needles, dogs, and flying. Okay. Ooh. So, students, please, can you, uh, jo can you match the fear with the picture, okay? So, in the comments, write A and what you think it is, B and what you think it is, and we'll see if you're right. Maybe I think A is a bit difficult to see, so I think it A... It might be difficult to them. see. I think A is a needle, okay? I, I, know, I know we shouldn't give them the answer, but it's hard to well, kind of... Well, they might do it through exclusion, just going through mm. all the other pictures and they can just find what it could be. Well, I just helped them, but okay, cool. Oh, there we go. Look at Raffaele. I'm terrified when I find asparagus in the mountains. There are many snakes nearby. And there. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe a full stop. You need, might need that mm -hmm. full stop. There are many snakes. Yeah, Raffaele, it's true. There are many in, in Italy. Um, I have actually a lot of asparagus growing nearby where I live here, where my mother-in-law lives. We go looking for asparagus like normally, of course, not now mm. through quarantine, but in the spring, <laughs> we always go looking for wild asparagus and we have um, omelette with asparagus Ooh, or okay. uh, risotto with asparagus. It's really nice. But I've never seen a snake near the asparagus plants here. Here. I've, oh, I found so many where I'm from. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so uh, while we're just waiting for the students to write their answers, remember when you write your answers, it takes a few seconds, 20, 30 seconds before we receive your, um, your answer. Hmm. So please students, what do you think these fears are? Write the letter with the, the fear. Uh, do you agree that these are very common fears, Paul? I do. I think maybe clowns would be another one. I think people have a specific fear. Ooh, yeah. Uh, very good, Julia. Excellent. I have a mosquito flying around with me. Did you kill him? No, but I'm going to kill him now. Yay! Got it. I had a. Ooh. Yeesh. Got it. Yeah, I've been I've been mosquito free for two days actually. I changed room, so now it's. Because in my apartment at the moment, I have uh, my my other flatmate had to leave because she was German, and mm -hmm. she was ordered 
go back home before the the lockdown happened. Oh, okay. And uh, I ended up just taking her room as well because it's way nicer and bright. <laughs> and like, no, but there's there's no like mosquitoes or anything. It's really really okay. nice. Good. With my other room, was just flooded with them, and they're so annoying. Yeah. Okay, so Julia says A needles, B ghosts, C heights, D spiders, E snakes. Fantastic. Mm. Very good. Wow, Julia, you are on a roll. Mm -hmm. F confined spaces, G thunder and lightning, H mm. the dark, I flying, J dogs. Wow, Julia, well, well done. done. 10 points. Okay. Let's get them up here. All correct. And all correct. Well done. Interesting that people are, I find it fascinating that people have a fear of the dark. I think that's a bit unusual for me, but. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's very common uh, in children. Mm. I used to be a little bit afraid of the dark. Uh, my children are both afraid of the dark, mm. both of them. So I have two children. They are seven and four years old, and they want to go to sleep, obviously, with the door wide open. Yeah, I'm just, I was and, the same. Uh, okay. But not as an adult. I'm not, of course, as an adult, I'm not. Yeah. <clears throat> so so do, you, one thing... do you let the light shine through a little when yeah, they're sleeping? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got, we have the lights on in the living room and then the light filters through. We've got like some double doors that separate the sleeping area, let's say mm. from the living area. And the, there's like glass doors. So the light filters through that into their bedroom. Okay. okay. Ooh, very nice, Raffaele. I think a lot of people are. I'm afraid of coronavirus because it's an invisible enemy. Well said. Really good. Me too. Mm. Okay, very good. So, are any of you students afraid of any of these top 10 fears? Uh, I find it very strange because I love dogs. I'm like, I, they are my passion. Me I find too. it so strange when people say they are afraid of dogs, and I'm like, why? <laughs> I think unless I you've think had a, a negative experience with one, that, yeah. yeah. But some people never have had a negative experience. They just, since childhood, have been afraid of them, and and there's no explanation why. I don't know. I find it really strange. But everyone is different, of course. So it was the same with my sister. She was terrified of dogs, and then we just ended up getting a cocker spaniel, and she mm -hmm. became more accustomed. Although cocker spaniels. It depends They're on the breed. They're quite nippy. They're quite nippy. Oh yeah, they? like we had yeah. the we had the kind of red, red, red blonde yeah. kind of type, but yeah, yeah. he was a bit aggressive towards her, but because he picked up the fear, not yeah, aggressive, but he kind of he could sense it. Um, hostile, a little bit hostile. hostile. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Gabriela, love you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and. Um, a lot of people are afraid of flying as well. My partner is actually afraid of flying, which is quite a big problem for us because every time the question of holidays comes up, <laughs> ooh, it's a bit of a taboo because <laughs> yeah. I would always like to go far, far away. And he mm. obviously wants to stay very, very close. So, <clears throat> Could you not but, get a train maybe? like? Oh, yeah, of course. But I mean... Every so often, I like to go to the States, or I would like to visit Thailand, or I would mm. like to go to Japan or something far away. You can't take a train there. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to take some cough syrup so he might sleep. Well, that's it. I just said, don't worry. Next time I need to go somewhere, I just go on my own. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> so when was the last time he was on a flight? Five years ago. Wow. Yeah. So last year when I went to London with my girls, he didn't come. No. So no, no. He got cold feet at the last minute. Okay. Gabrielle also says, I don't know, not because, but we need the question, why? I don't know mm. why a lot of people 
are afraid. afraid of dogs. So we need the verb to be. It's to be afraid of or it's to be scared of. All right. <clears throat> okay. Students, so nobody is answering which ones they mm. are most afraid of. Or maybe which ones are you least frightened of? So I've developed... Which yeah, I've developed a new fear of heights. I it happened to me two years ago. I think it's called vertigo, right? So I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was two years ago. I went with my two friends, and we went hiking in a place called Alcoy in Spain. And I was absolutely terrified because they went. <coughs> they went. We didn't go the recommended route. Mm hmm. And so they As went. You do. <laughs> We should have, but they went the other way, and I was just so terrified, and it's just, like, heightened my fear. Okay. Yeah. I'm not afraid of heights, but obviously um, I won't go right to the edge of a cliff and Neither look would down. I. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll keep a healthy meter or so back from the, from the edge, but, I mean, I love astonishing views and everything i'm quite happy to be a meter from the edge and mm. just look out some people can't even get near the edge they're just they can't even look down it's unbelievable so i'm not afraid of heights like if i'm in a something protective or i have a you know a nice railing on a balcony and i can look down i'm fine mm. some people can't can't even do that yeah so um i would say the one that i'm most terrified of or the ones, should I say, that I'm most terrified of are snakes and <clears throat> maybe big spiders, not little spiders. Snakes and big spiders. Uh, I don't know why, but I think because a lot of snakes are venomous mm -hmm. and I just associate all snakes with being venomous. So because I can't recognize them, if I see one, I'm just like, I'm out of there because mm. I don't want to stick around and find out if you're venomous or not. <laughs> <clears throat> I think and, I'm the um, same. Yeah. The other one, the ones that I'm least, I'm also a little bit frightened of uh, lightning, thunder and mm. lightning. The noise, the noise just terrifies me and lightning, obviously, if it strikes you can be dangerous. So I... I'm a little bit afraid, but it's not one of it's not my top fear. The ones I'm the least of... frightened of is <clears throat> dogs, of course, mm. and ghosts and flying. Just does nothing to me. Okay. I'm absolutely terrified of confined spaces, Joel. If the thought Ooh. of being trapped in an elevator, oh my god, it's happened to me, I'd say, three times in my life. One time <gasps> I was in Malta and I was in an elevator for about 15 minutes and it was really hot as well and it, yeah. was, it was disgusting. I didn't like the experience. Okay, I can imagine. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody would like to be closed in somewhere where you cannot get out. Mm. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm not terrified. I just, it annoys me or I get frustrated. For example, when I'm in a very crowded place, like in a big club with lots of people, or if you are in a big square, maybe there's an event or something and loads of people packed around you and you can't get out. You know, if you want to just leave and it takes you, you know, it's going to take you about 20 minutes to get through the throng of people mm. and get out. That that aggravates me. I just can't stand it. So this, that to me is being confined, not like in a room, if you know what I mean. For yeah. sure. So students, nobody, no answers. Come on, guys. Mm. All right, let's go on. Well, they can still tell us what they're afraid of or what they're yes, terrified of. Yes, of course. Um, you can... <clears throat> uh, Maybe they can Tell us look... what you're afraid of. Yeah, yeah, maybe they can just look at the picture of the man climbing. Oh yeah, okay. And okay. then they, they don't have to they don't have to watch the video. So mm -hmm. this video, guys, is about a a man called Alex who climbs. Um, it's called Fear Free Climbing, and he does it without any protection, any yes. equipment. So he has no rope. Mm. Okay. 
He has no um, harness mm -hmm. around him to hold him up. He just free climbs, free climbing. Great, Gabriella. Very, Very good. good. Gabriella's got it. I have free a comment climbing. here. I think that I'm more. Okay. Great, Michele. Sure. The things that I'm most terrified of, so you need the preposition, are uh, hmm. snakes and heights. So no article the, because we're talking about in general. And Michele says the thing uh, I'm less afraid of, so we need the preposition of, obviously are hmm. not the dogs, just dogs. No okay. the. Okay. Very good. Obviously, uh, spelling. Okay. Yes, Gabriella, he is crazy. I agree with you. I agree. He's crazy. Obviously. Okay. I would. I would never do that. <laughs> yeah. So yes. Answering number five, Gabriella, because it says, what characteristics describe Alex? And she said, he is crazy. Excellent. Yes, that is right. He is. I think this, I think he is. Uh, what about number four, students? How would you feel if you did this? How would you feel? Would you feel relaxed? Would you feel excited how would you feel if you went free climbing or free solo they also call it free solo um paul how would you feel if you did this i just put down in the comments oh, i would feel right. like i am about to fall mm. it's the fear that comes into my head when i'm near like the edge of something it's like you're gonna fall yeah. you're gonna fall yeah, you feel like you will fall. Okay, absolutely. Just to explain what about to means to the students, it's like saying will. Mm -hmm. It will happen, yeah. I would feel... Mm, I think I would feel terrified. I think I would feel my heart beating in my chest at about 100 miles an hour. Mm. <laughs> Christina says, I think I will get goosebumps. Okay, very good. <coughs> Here we are using the, the um, conditional form. So it's would, okay? Mm. I know you haven't studied would yet, but this is hypothetical. So I think I would get goosebumps and I would be terrified. All right. So here, uh, free fear, fear free climbing. Which words best describe Alex? So, first of all, can we find the opposites of these words? Mm. Okay. So, um, before we. I'll describe, read the words. Yeah. Before we describe, let's uh, read through the words and find the opposites. Paul, go for it. Okay. We have fearful, restless, <coughs> confident, confident, excuse me, strong, bold, brave, weak, fearless, careful, afraid, cowardly, and shy. Ooh, very good. Okay. So Christina says, I would feel calm. Wow. Well done. So you're not afraid of free climbing then, <laughs> even though you think he's mm. crazy. When I... Climb. climb. Okay, so we need the infinitive here. Rafael. In the mountains, I, I feel, feel free. free. Nice. All right. Okay. So, mm, fearful. What does this mean? What is fearful? Well, basically... Does it mean to to have a fear of or to not have a fear of? I think it's the first you said. <clears throat> yeah. So again, we use it with the verb to be. To mm -hmm. be fearful. So it's an adjective. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Means that you have a fear of. 
So what is the opposite to not have a fear ah, of? Very good. Excellent, Raffaele. With one L. With one L, fearful. One L. Like beautiful has only one L. Mm. Wonderful only has one L. Okay. The next one, anybody? This could be hard, actually. Reckless, because I think some of them are pretty yeah. synonymous. They're quite, they're quite, some of them are difficult. Like, what is mm. reckless? So reckless, reckless, I would, yeah, I would say someone that is a bit careless. Uh, like reckless, yeah, reckless is somebody who uh, does things without thinking. Does things without thinking. Ooh, is it safe? Isn't it safe? They just do it. Mm. So, okay, very good. Be careful of the spelling, Michele. <clears throat> My voice keeps going. Sorry, guys. All right. The spelling. R-E-C-K. Reckless. Mm -hmm. With careful. Yes, absolutely. So if you're very careful, you think about what you're doing before you do it. Reckless is the opposite. You don't think about what you're doing. <clears throat> Confident. Mm. Confident is a false friend in Italian. It has a different meaning, confidente. So what is confident in English? Confident is when you feel sure of something, okay? To be sure of. So confident, uh, Raffaele thinks it's shy, so well done. Done, Raffaele, and well, well done, Michele. Michele. Okay, we have strong and weak. Mm -hmm. Good, Michele. Bold. Hmm. So, no, Gabriella, co cowardly is not the opposite of confident. Uh, cowardly means to be afraid, afraid of uh, so it's not the same as being uh shy shy is timid mm. and confident means you you are not timid you are very sure of yourself mm -hmm. bold bold is another it's quite similar to brave quite similar in meaning. Bold is... Mm, no. We haven't got the right... Bold and brave have not the same, but similar meanings, okay? So bold is when you are... <laughs> not afraid to do something so you uh, maybe you are a little bit afraid but you do it anyway right Paul what do you think I think we've lost Paul a second so bold is afraid and brave is cowardly so if you think of Braveheart also in the the film Braveheart uh, he has a lot of courage. So brave is like courageous. Sorry. <laughs> courageous. <clears throat> Hi, Paul. <laughs> yeah, internet, I don't know. It's like bringing me in and out. It's not friendly today with me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's all right. Yes. Uh, what have I written Very here? Hard. Yeah. So... Oh, God, help me out here. I've got a blank. Courageous. C-O-R-A-G-E-O-U-S. Yeah. Does, it doesn't look right. Courageous. Is that it? Let me, yeah, that's the spelling. Courageous. Okay. Let me double check, though. Courageous. I don't know why it, lo it looks wrong to me. Anyway. Oh, okay. It's uh, spelled with an E. Okay, so it's C-O-U-S. <laughs> Or A G 
O U S. It's a bit of a difficult spelling, actually. Courageous. You just, uh, uh, I've got a blank at this moment. Cor oh, with a U. That's it. That's what's missing. Yeah, I missed courageous. out the U, guys. I'm sorry. The U. Bold is a bit of an unusual one, isn't it? You're very yeah, bold. Yeah, exactly. They were like, saying, what's the difference between... Okay, bold is saying audace. Mm. Yes, I think you could say that. I think you could say audace. I would describe it as someone that is quite daring as well. Like he's Yeah, quite exactly. Exactly. That, that's what audace means in Italian. Mm. So, um, brave is courageous. Mm -hmm. The opposite of being courageous, so the correct spelling, guys, is this one. Sorry, don't look at my spelling. I had a blank. Mm -hmm. it's okay. It happens. <laughs> courageous. Um, so the opposite is cowardly, when you have no courage. So you mm -hmm. are cowardly. Codardo, okay, mm -hmm. cowardly. Bold instead is audace. So it's not quite the same as courageous, but it's similar, okay? And uh, the opposite is uh, when you are scared of something. So you are a uh, paura of something, okay? Yeah. They're quite similar, okay? Not the same, but similar. So now, can you describe what uh, Alex is like? Can you describe Alex with these uh, adjectives? Well, he's certainly reckless. <laughs> I think he is too. But at the same time, I think he's also careful. Like mm. the, 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 the sport that he does is a reckless sport. Mm -hmm. But if I've watched the video, so I know what kind of person he is. And um, he, he does it very slowly. Oh, Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, he does it very slowly, taking his time, taking precautions, and he... He thinks about what he's where he's gonna like climb and what he's gonna hold on to before he just goes. He, he's he's very systematic and very careful in his climbing, but it is a reckless sport. So I think he's a mm. bit of both. Do you think he's strong or weak to be strong able to pull himself? Yeah, absolutely. I think anybody who's a professional climber is very very fit. Um, yeah especially in their arms and legs. Yeah. Also core, mm. even your core to hold you like against the wall. Yeah. For sure. Um, I also think he's fearless because to be able to climb up a mountain with no protection, I think you, you have to be fearless because mm. if you are even just a little bit afraid, you will probably panic up there. So I think he's fearless. Uh, all right. So, okay. Last question before we we end the uh, focus. Overcoming fear. What are the most important qualities a person needs to overcome their fears? So what's the best way to get over a fear? Get over is a fragile verb. And what does it mean, Paul? Get over is basically similar to overcome. Get over. Um, yeah, to overcome. So what is the best way to, um, to face your fear and uh, not be afraid anymore? Okay. Paul, are you allergic? <laughs> allergic to what? Like pollen. <laughs> Uh, no, I just sneezed. I think sometimes that can happen. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, don't you say that in Ireland? In England, we say that. Are you allergic? And people just automatically understand you mean pollen. Oh, no. I just, uh, I just sneezed, Raphael. Sorry. Okay. Right. <laughs> no, worry. I'm just saying you know... I'm inside. There's no one else around, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the best way to uh, not be afraid anymore is exactly what Paul wrote here, to face your fear, okay, to face, affrontare, to mm -hmm. face your fear. Confront. Confront it, yeah. All right, so let's go back to the first slide here and recap mm -hmm. what we did today. So today we talked about different fears. Um, to name a few, 
We could have a fear of heights, of confined spaces, and dogs. Can you think of any others, Paul? I, I'm terrified of, uh, I'm scared to death of, and I get goosebumps when. Yeah, and the type of fear, for example? Um, needles? Uh, clowns, uh, cockroaches, beetles, as we said. In the Fantastic. Lesson. So guys, Great. thank you so much. We have another lesson in 10 minutes, if you feel free, if you want to join us. Um, so, see you later. Ciao. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Thank you.